Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video just to cover a few things I've learned along the way. Um, first off, uh, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the quality of the microphone. It's a headset mic. It is what it is. Uh, it'll get better. So when I started streaming originally on YouTube and then to Twitch, uh, I ran into a number of issues, laggy stream, frame drops. Uh, after some research and tweaking, I managed to get a smooth stream uh, from South Africa to Twitch on a wireless connection. So let's get started. All the details, URLs, as well as my PC specs can be found in the description. Uh, I'm using a single PC stream setup at the moment. I'll go over some basic tips for improving the performance of the stream, and then I'll, I'll dive into some uh, country-specific things. First thing you want to do is drop the output resolution to 720p. Uh, you can increase this at a later stage, uh, but for now, drop it to 720p at 60 frames per second. By doing this, you're massively decreasing the amount of information you're sending over the internet. Because you've dropped your output resolution to 720p, you can now lower your bit rate by quite a bit. Um, I dropped this down to about 3500. If you have really terrible internet and a really bad upload speed, uh, keep your output resolution to 720p, drop your frames per second to 30, uh, and your bit rate, set it at about 2500. That should get you started no matter what. And then in terms of the encoder, uh, depending on the GPU you have, you could offload the processing onto your GPU. I have a R9 390X 8 gig. I still prefer to offload the processing onto my CPU um, since I've managed to keep the, the CPU usage down in OBS. One final OBS tweak is to change the encoder preset. This is essentially the amount of time the CPU spends on each frame. Uh, faster is better because the CPU doesn't spend as much time on all the details. Um, the faster you set the encoder preset, the less load there is on your CPU. Because it doesn't spend as much time on the details though, uh, you might see some weird pixelation on your screen if you have a lot of movement going on. Uh, so don't set it too fast. I've changed my preset to very fast and I've seen a massive decrease in uh, CPU usage uh, with no noticeable loss of quality. So finally, you've tweaked all your settings but you're still dropping frames to Twitch. Uh, and this tip is more specific to those living in outlying countries uh, where you don't have local Twitch uh, ingest servers. With the size and scale of YouTube, um, they were able to have local servers in South Africa. So when I started streaming to YouTube, I had no issues. When moving to Twitch, uh, I think I was dropping about 80% of my frames. I just couldn't understand why. Uh, after some digging, I found that it's because of the distance between me and the nearest uh, Twitch ingest server. Luckily, there's a, a local Twitch uh, relay server hosted by Cybersmart, uh, a fiber internet uh, provider here. Uh, if you live in a country where there isn't a local server, do some digging and, and see if there's one of the big ISPs uh, they might have a Twitch relay server available. If you live uh, in South Africa, for example, uh, here's what you do. In your stream settings in OBS, you change your stream type to custom streaming server and you use rtmp colon forward slash forward slash twitch dot cisp dot co dot za forward slash live as your URL. And there you go. You're now streaming through a local relay server. As I said in the beginning of the video, you can find the URL um, specifically for the uh, CyberSmart Relay server uh, in the description and some other details. Thanks, guys.